welcome. Starting in a seated position on our mat. So whatever is most comfortable, that can be cross-legged, that can be uh, one leg extended out, sitting on the heels. Find a place where you can sit for a few moments. Maybe you prop your hips up on a folded blanket to release any pressure in your hips or your low back here. And as usual, starting with how you feel at this moment. So checking in with yourself. How are you feeling mentally? How are you feeling physically? And shift awareness onto your breath from here. Is it comfortable breathing and out through just your nose? If it is, go ahead and begin to do so. If that is not going to be an option today, or maybe it starts out as an option and then doesn't feel comfortable, maybe feels like a strain, then breathe however you need to. Otherwise, though, in and out through just your nose, deep breaths in, exhales, feeling yourself just let that breath go. Seeing if you can feel movement through your belly as you breathe. If you're not that aware of that, any movement there, you can always place one hand over your belly, maybe just over that navel. And see if when you inhale, if you can expand out through your navel. And then let it rise up into your ribs, up into your chest. Maybe even feel it under the clavicle as you exhale. Everything just relaxes back out. The breath comes out. The torso comes back in towards your spine. few moments breathing like this just becoming more aware of your breath the breath dictates when we move in our practice synchronizing inhales with movements and exhales so maybe one more full breath here and then on the exhale let your chin sink down towards your chest. Pausing here a moment just to feel that stretch. And if for any reason, as always as we go throughout our practice, if you need to make your way out completely or if you just need to modify the pose, absolutely do so. I am just here as your guide today. If it feels good, just let gravity do the work. Let your head get heavy. And then depending on what feels best for you, maybe the rest of your spine from your shoulders down is straight, or maybe you're letting the whole back round. From here, we're going to slowly start to circle the head all the way around the shoulders. So start rolling your left ear towards your left shoulder. Roll it all the way back behind the head, behind the head, yeah, behind the back over to the right side and then go ahead and bring that chin back towards your chest and we'll continue to circle the head around the shoulders if bringing the head beyond behind the shoulders feels like too much you can always just move the head in front of the shoulder side to side like a pendulum gently swinging here maybe one more time around once your chin meets your chest we'll just reverse those circles going in the opposite direction or if you're doing the gentle pendulum swing just continue that about three times around the shoulders here And then once your chin comes back to your chest, we'll take a deep breath and elongate all the way up the spine. So lift your head, reach to the crown of your head, straighten your entire spine. And we'll add the arms to this. Whenever you inhale again, sweep the arms out, reach up through your fingertips, get as tall as you possibly can. So feel yourself actually lifting up a little higher out of those hips. The torso gets a little bit longer. Exhale, go ahead and connect the palms, slide them down the center of the body to your chest. From here, we're gonna make our way into all fours to our tabletop. So take your time to place those hands down to the mat. 
right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. Always know you can take fists when you're in all fours if that feels better for your wrists. Otherwise, spread the fingers wide, press into the palms, the knuckles, the fingertips. And then we will start our cat and cow flow as you inhale, navel dips down, feel the ribs dip down. Exhales, pull everything on the front side of the body in, the hips come in, the chin comes in, everything squeezing towards your mat, towards the earth. As you inhale, we'll reverse. Just again, continuing that flow with your breath. Breath dictates movement. So if you've got a slow, deep breath, this may take a little extra time, but maybe your breath's a little bit sped up. Maybe it goes a little faster. Just try to keep that breath under control so we're not speeding through our poses. Maybe one more flow through cat and cow. And then from here, we're gonna extend back to child's pose. So sink those hips back to or towards the heels, extend those arms out long. If the hips don't quite reach the heels, you can always bring stacked fists under the forehead to bring the mat to you, to your forehead. Otherwise, if it's comfortable, forehead just resting down to the mat. From here, we're going to go ahead and inhale, come forward into a modified plank. So keeping the knees touching down to the mat, keeping the tops of the feet touching the mat. We will inhale forward, shift those shoulders straight up above those wrists. So hips go beyond the knees here. Hug the elbows back as you exhale and slowly lower all the way down to the mat. As you inhale, we're gonna see if an arch feels like a good option, so tuck your tailbone. So hip points rock in, pelvis rocks down towards the earth. Inhale, maybe you just use the strength of your back, your abdominals to lift your head, your chest, maybe shoulders. And then exhale, press into those hands, press all the way back to child's pose. We're gonna continue this flow a few times, warming up the body a bit more. So if this is not a good option, you could remain in child's pose. Otherwise, I encourage you to continue flowing. Maybe you just opt out of the arch in the back if your back's not feeling great with that. Inhale, we come forward. Exhale with control, strength coming from the arms to lower all the way down. Inhale, maybe this time you take a little bit of a bigger arch, maybe press into those hands a little bit, a little low cobra. Exhale back to child's pose. Continuing that flow with your own rhythm of breath here. Inhale forward. Exhaling down. Inhale, find that arch. Exhale, pressing back. And I'll let you continue this flow on your own one more time. Eventually meeting in our child's pose. And then once you're in child's pose, we're gonna come up to downward facing dogs. So we're gonna tuck those toes. Lift those hips, press into those palms, send those hips up and back. And take a moment to pedal out the feet, get comfortable in this downward facing dog. Maybe we bend one knee while pressing opposite heel into the mat and reversing. And then our option is to try a full plank flow or to drop those knees and come right back to that modified plank flow or to just opt out maybe to hang out in child's pose or in a downward facing dog. If you're wanting to flow through the full plank flow, we will inhale, flow forward, this time knees lifted. Otherwise for modified, just drop those knees right to modified plank. Exhale to lower to chaturanga. So hovering above the mat, keeping shoulders lifted above the elbows. I don't mean straight above them. I mean higher than the elbows. 
And then inhale, we can take our arch into our upward facing dog. So flip to the tops of the feet. Let the hips hang towards the mat as you lift and arch the back. Lift your head, lift your shoulders. And then exhale, flip those feet back. Press back into downward facing dog. So significantly more challenging than that modify. And we will continue that flow about four times in total. So three more times. So inhaling forward, full or modified plank. Exhale either to chaturanga or all the way down to the earth. Inhale to your arch, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, meeting back in our downward facing dog. Excellent. Inhale, we come forward. Exhale again, lowering with control. If you're coming down extra fast bring it to modified inhale to find that arch expansion through the chest pull the shoulders back and down exhale bringing it back up to our downward facing dog and one more flow there inhale forward exhale lower inhale to find that arch exhale to meet back and downward facing dog if you need to come down and shake out the wrists in child's pose feel free to or to just let your breath slow back down otherwise we are staying here and just breathing letting the heartbeat slow down letting the breath slow back down you've utilized virtually every muscle of the body through this flow so we are letting everything calm back down the heart had to work just a little bit harder. And then from here, if it feels okay, we're going to inhale right leg up and back. So three-legged down dog. And we're going to pause and point and flex that foot a few times. Maybe rotate the foot around to the left. Rotate the foot around to the right. Deep breath and extend back through those toes. Exhale, see if you can pull the knee into the chest, stepping that up in between the hands towards the top of the mat. If it gets stuck down the mat, take a moment, scooch it forward, make any adjustment you need to so that eventually we end with knee stacked right above that heel, that ankle. We don't want the knee beyond the toes here. And then on your next inhale if it feels okay we're going to inhale up to our high plank here so keeping left knee lifted if possible otherwise feel free to tap that down for stability we're going to inhale reach the arms straight up torso comes up arms stacked right above the shoulders in our high lunge and perhaps we start high with the hips here Maybe eventually the hips start to come a little lower. Deepening that work through that right leg. Deepening that stretch in the front of the left hip. From here, we're going to take a twist. So we're going to exhale, bring the left hand either down to the mat or it can come down to a block to the inside of that right foot. With the next inhale, we're going to sweep and reach the right arm all the way up towards the sky or ceiling. If it's too much for your shoulder to extend that straight arm, we're going to bend at the elbow, place the hand on the back of the right hip instead. So now elbow rotating up. Pause here for a full breath. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, unwind the spine, come back to neutral, and then we're going to step or walk up to forward fold. So stepping that back foot forward. And here we'll take a moment and work out any tension in the hamstrings, tension in the back. Feel free to put a lot of bend in the knees, as much bend as it takes until you feel good through that low back and the hamstrings don't feel like they're pulling. We're going to ease into these muscles. Maybe you pedal out the feet a little bit, bending one knee and the opposite knee, just like downward facing dog. Hands maybe come down to rest on the mat or onto a block, or maybe just the fronts of the legs. 
And then from here, we're going to inhale, come half high. So slide the hands maybe up the fronts of the shins, parallel your torso to the earth, to the mat here. Extend through the crown of your head, pull the shoulders back as you exhale, fold it back forward, deeply relax, maybe bend into those knees again. As you inhale, knees can stay bent. If it feels good though, straighten legs just to that micro bend. Tuck tailbone, exhales, relax it forward. Maybe one more halfway high flow. Exhale, softening it forward. And then we'll place those hands back down to the mat. We're gonna step the left foot back. So coming back through the right lunge again. This time we're going to inhale, sweep, reach the torso up. Exhale, bring the left hand down to the inside of the right foot. And then with the next inhale, we'll bring that twist, open that right arm up towards the sky or ceiling. Exhale, on twist, and then we will step the right foot back, meeting back and downward facing dog. When you're ready, we will inhale left leg up and back towards the sky, three-legged down dog, starting to point and flex through that left foot. Maybe circle the foot to the left. Circle the foot to the right. Next inhale, we'll point, reach back through those toes as you exhale, strength through the arms or the core to bring that left leg up, stepping the foot up as close to those hands as possible. But again, take a moment to adjust until your knee is right over the heel, the ankle. And then if and when you're ready, we will inhale, bring the torso up, reach up through the crown of your head, reach up through those fingertips, keeping that bend in that front knee. And we're going to pause and hold here, easing into those hips, those muscles of the legs. So Again, maybe start up a little high. Maybe it's a little less bend in that front knee. And then maybe we start to bend a little more into the knee, lower the hips a little bit. If you need to lower the right knee for stability, feel free to. Maybe one more full breath here. And then whenever you begin to exhale again, we'll bring the right palm down to the inside of the left foot, whether that's to the earth or to a block. On the inhale, we will twist and reach up either through the left fingertips or maybe hand on the hip, left elbow to the left. And again, we're gonna pause and breathe here for at least a full breath. And then one more deep breath in, maybe really reach and twist, exhale, unwind the spine. We will step the right foot forward, coming to forward fold. Inhale, we'll come right into the halfway high flow. So inhale, straighten the spine. Exhale, folding it forward deeply. We'll do that flow two more times with your own rhythm of breath. Inhales, we find strength. Exhales, softening, letting go. One more flow. And then we'll place the hands down to the mat. Step that right foot back again, back through high lunge. On the inhale, sweep, reach the torso up. As you exhale, release the right palm down to the inside of the left foot. Inhale, twisting up to the left. Exhale, we will unwind, step or walk it back to downward facing dog. You can hang out in downward dog or release to child's pose or optional plank flow. Inhale to either full or modified. Exhale to lower. Inhale to find that arch. Exhale to press it back to downward facing dog. We will inhale, extend, reach the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping it forward towards the hands. Inhale, sweep the torso up. Exhale, left palm down into that twist to the right. So palm down, then inhale on the twist. Exhale, we unwind, step that foot forward. Inhale, come half high. 
Exhale, folding it deeply. And then on the next inhale, we're actually going to stand and reach it all the way up to the sky. Tall mountain. Exhale, connect the palms, bring them down to the center of the chest. And then from here, we'll move into our tree pose. So balancing on the right foot, we'll spin that left knee open and out wide. See where this feels best, whether it's maybe toes to the mat, heel against the ankle, maybe foot slides up to the inside of the calf muscle or up above the knee to the inside of the thigh. Find a drishti, a focal point. Letting the eyes settle on this place, settling your focus. If you're feeling unstable, that is okay. It's definitely harder when you're outside. But inside, whether you're on thick carpet or sometimes the muscles are just fatigued, sometimes it's a lot of work. Hands maybe remain at the chest or maybe they extend up and out. Press your foot and your leg firmly into each other, which is why we do not want the foot over the inside of the knee. We don't want to damage these ligaments, these tendons. We're going to bring muscular awareness here. So pressing the muscles of the thigh or the calf and the foot firmly into each other. Maybe tuck your tailbone slightly so feel your low back get longer. And then lifting that all the way up through the crown of your head. From here, we are going to take the left foot away. If you need to tap it down or pause with the foot to the mat, feel free to. Otherwise, keep that foot hovering. And then we're going to see if warrior three legs feel like a good option. So bringing palms back into the chest if they grew into branches. We're going to hinge from the hips, come halfway high, but press the left foot straight back behind a strong left leg. If that feels like it's straining your back, then maybe you just come back to balancing on one foot. If you're feeling good here, hands may remain at the chest. Maybe they need to come down to the floor for stability. Maybe they come down onto your block all the way to the mat. Or maybe we can extend hands back alongside the hips into our airplane pose. Fingers turn in towards the hip and airplane. Thumbs out to the side, squeezing shoulder blades up and back. Seeing if we can now slowly make our way back up to standing coming out of this. If at any point you need to tap the left toes down first feel free to if hands can remain or come back to the chest prayer position slowly standing it up we'll bend the left knee come up and then eventually release that left foot back down to the mat inhale sweep reach up into tall mountain exhale down into that forward fold go ahead and inhale come half high Exhale, folding it forward deeply. And then we will go ahead and step the left foot back and bend again back through that eye lunge on the right side. You know the drill from here. Inhale, reach the fingers up. Exhale, release left fingertips or palm to the mat or block. Inhale into that twist to the right. Exhale to unwind. Stepping that back to downward facing dog. You can hang out here or child's pose or inhale forward to that full or modified plank. Lots of options. Exhale to lower either to chaturanga or all the way to the mat. Inhale to find that arch. Exhale to press it back. And then we'll do everything on the left side. Inhale left leg up and back towards the sky or ceiling. Deep breath as you exhale, step that foot up, high lunge. With the inhale, we'll sweep the torso up. Exhale, right hand down to the inside of the left foot. Inhale to twist, open to the left. Exhale to unwind, stepping right foot forward. Inhale to come half high. Exhale to fold it forward. Inhale, we'll sweep and reach it all the way up. Tall mountain. 
Exhale, hands to prayer position in front of the chest. And then moving into tree on that left foot. Find that drishti, that focal point. Bend the right knee, spin it open to the side, and then find where that right foot feels best being placed. Again, just not over the inside area of the knee. We don't want any pressure on all of those muscles that work so hard to stabilize our knees. Once you find that, start pressing foot and the muscles of the inner left leg into the foot, tucking your tailbone slightly. So feel the lower abdominals fire up, engage, elongating the low back, and then lifting all the way up through your torso, reaching up through the top of the head, reaching up through those fingertips. A few breaths here, maybe arms grow into branches, or maybe they remain the chest centered. Maybe one more full breath. And then again, absolutely feel free to tap the right foot down if that's best or see if we can transition this into our warrior three legs. Start hinging from the hips with hands at prayer position. Pressing the right foot straight back behind the right hip. So parallel to the earth flexing that right foot so that right leg is strong as though it's pressing someone away from you here or maybe holding up a wall maybe hands remain at the chest maybe they need to come down for stability to the earth or to a block or maybe we want to sweep the hands back alongside the hips into our airplane arms engaging the upper back more squeeze the shoulders up and back Shoulder blades come in a little bit closer there. Maybe one more full breath here. And then we will slowly make our way out. So again, if you can bring hands back to the prayer position, maybe stand it up while still floating the right leg, but at any point, tap that foot down, come out however you need to. Once you come out, we'll inhale, extend up into one more tall mountain. So get as tall as you possibly can. Exhale, folding it forward. Inhale, we'll come half high. Exhale, folding it maybe a little more deeply. We'll step the right foot back, high lunge on the left side. Inhale, sweep, reach the torso up. Exhale, right hand comes down to the mat. Inhale, left arm into that twist, reaching up towards the sky or ceiling. Exhale to unwind. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. And again, taking your option, whether it's to hang out in downward dog, to hang out in child's pose, or to flow. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, lowering it down to chaturanga or all the way to the mat. Inhale, sweep, reach it up, arch in the back. Exhale, we'll meet back in that downward facing dog. This is our last downward dog, so feel free to move it, stretch it any last little way that feels good. And then we'll go ahead and release down to the knees, release down to the forehead, releasing all the way down to the mat. Child's pose, resting and breathing here. And then we will slowly roll ourselves up to seated, dropping your hips to the side. Let your legs extend out in front of you. And then from here, we are going to extend the feet out wide into our straddle split. So as wide as feels good for you. If your hamstrings are really tight, there may be a remaining bend in the knees. You can always place a rolled towel or blanket behind those knees if that feels best or you can just let them hover if your legs are comfortable straightening all the way out go ahead and release those backs of the knees close to the mat and then we're going to start with a deep breath to extend through the spine extend up through the crown of your head through your fingertips exhale folding it forward 
as far forward as feels good. So let the fingertips come down between the legs. Maybe they're just right in front of the pelvis. Maybe that's enough intensity for us today. Or maybe we really walk those hands out towards the line of the feet, folding the torso forward. If you're needing to ease into this, or if that is appealing, we will inhale flat in the spine, just like we do in our halfway fold. Come halfway up, straight in spine, exhale, relax it forward. Let gravity do some of that work. A few more breaths here, but if it becomes too intense for those inner thighs or hips, at any point you can bring the knees back in close and hug those into the chest. Maybe two more full breaths. And then with the next inhale, we will slowly straighten up through the spine. Gently bring those knees back in close. We'll go ahead and bend the knees, hug the knees into the chest. And then from here, I'm actually going to go ahead and have you come all the way down onto your back. So take your time to come down. Once you're down, you can, again, hug those knees into your chest. Maybe rock that side to side. And then we are going to come back to neutral. We're just going to come into a gentle spinal twist. So arms extend straight out from the shoulders into our T or bent elbows into cactus arms. As you exhale, let the knees rock over to the right side and let, if it feels good, the, le- the chin roll over towards the left shoulder. Feel free to close the eyes here. If the twist feels a little too intense, you can always st- bring your straight arm underneath the right thigh, the right calf. Or you can place a blanket or block underneath the knee and shin. Or you can always come out early. But otherwise, we're just letting gravity do the work here. Let your legs get heavy. See if you can relax that left hip, that left glute. To just soften the weight of the legs to the side. Let the left shoulder melt back and down into or towards the earth. Maybe one more full breath here. And then with an inhale, we will unwind the spine. Feel free to adjust. And then when you're ready, we're going to reverse sides, arms back into our T, our cactus arms. Deep breath the center. Exhale, rock those knees, those legs over to the left side. Again, immediately make any adjustments you need to on this side. If it feels good, let your chin roll open towards that right shoulder. Pausing and breathing here, softening with those exhales. Letting the legs get heavy. Let the right hip or glute relax. Let that right arm, that right shoulder relax. Maybe two more full breaths here. And then slowly with an inhale, we will unwind the spine. Feel free to hug those knees in. From here, we're just going to come into a brief butterfly pose. So when you're ready, bring the feet to the mat. Knees bent, let soles of feet turn into touch. And knees just gently open out wide. From here, hands, arms have probably already moved to where they're most comfortable, but if not, take a moment to adjust where you place your hands, your arms. It can be relaxing on your hip bones, your lower abdomen. Maybe it's relaxing out alongside your torso, or maybe it's extending up above your head. Feel free to close the eyes and let gravity do the work. 
if it starts to feel like it's really pulling on the muscles of your low back or your inner thighs, hips become very uncomfortable. Bring the knees back up early. Otherwise, pause here. Let gravity do that work. Letting our legs get as heavy as they could possibly be. Sinking down towards the earth. Take a moment here to notice the muscles of your face, your jaw. Is there any tension lingering here? You can always wiggle the jaw side to side or stretch the face open wide. So open the eyes, stretch the mouth open wide, reach your tongue down and out towards your chin and then relax that back in. Maybe two more full breaths here. And then we'll slowly bring those knees back in. Feel free to hug the knees in. Maybe rock that side to side. And then coming down for Shavasana, our final relaxation. So if your low back feels great with it, extend the legs all the way out. Tap the heels down to the corners of the mat. Let your feet relax and drop open wide. If you need to cover up, feel free to. Or if your low back is not comfortable letting legs extend all the way out, feel free to place a block, bolster, pillows on behind the backs of the knees, or if you don't have these available, bend the knees, bring feet out wide to the edges of the mat and let knees rest against one another. If you have an eye pillow, go ahead and place that over your eyes and then let the arms come down at least a few inches from the outside of the hips, maybe palms rolling up to the sky. I relax my feet and ankles. My feet and ankles are completely relaxed. I relax my shins, calves, and knees. My shins, calves, and knees are completely relaxed. I relax my thighs and hamstrings. My thighs and hamstrings are completely relaxed. I relax my hips and pelvis. My hips and pelvis are completely relaxed. I relax my hands and wrists. My hands and wrists are completely relaxed. I relax my forearms, elbows, and upper arms. My forearms, elbows, and upper arms are completely relaxed. I relax my upper back, middle back, and lower back. My upper, middle, and lower back are completely relaxed. I relax through my abdomen and ribs. My abdomen and ribs are completely relaxed. Relax through my chest and shoulders. My chest and shoulders are completely relaxed. I relax through my neck, face, and jaw. My neck, face, and jaw are completely relaxed. Allow my entire body to fully relax. My entire body is completely and fully relaxed.
We will slowly start to bring our awareness back into our body, starting with that sensation of breath, or maybe sound of breath. Let the awareness of your breath slowly bring you back in. And then let awareness maybe come down into the center of your palms, or perhaps the space between your fingers. Bring little sensations, or notice any sensations, vibrations happening here. And then bring in your own by starting to stretch or wiggle those fingers. Maybe wiggle your toes. Let those movements grow. However gently brings you back into your body fully. Maybe eventually that becomes a pencil stretch reaching extending through the fingers to the toes or maybe it's a hug of the knees into your chest take your time to find those movements those stretches and eventually when that feels complete rock yourself over to your right side pausing and resting there for a few moments a few breaths your arm your right arm can extend letting your head rest here as if you're using an eye pillow, as it drops aside, eyes can still just be relaxed and closed. And then take your time. Eventually, when that feels complete, you can start to press yourself back up to whatever seated position feels most comfortable to you today. Pausing to rest and breathe here. Eventually, we will Seal our practice by connecting the palms together at the center of the chest. Thank you so much for joining me. It is always my honor to teach you. Namaste.